Hi my salty pecans and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Pamela and on today's video I am going to be sharing you 5 tips on how to get rid of fly gnats or at least just keep them at bay to a point where you're not sniffing them in every 10 minutes. So if you're interested in hearing my 5 tips, well this is 10, but my 5 tips, then keep on watching. <laughs> So welcome back everyone I'm going to just get right into it the first tip that I am going to recommend to you all is this baby right here it is a matchbox so you can get these from the dollar store you can get them from the hardware store your regular corner store just a pair of wooden matches and what I would recommend to you all is you strike your match right and I'm not gonna do it on the internet because you know you're not gonna need to see that but then after you strike your match it is going to be burned so what I like to do is actually take my matches and stick them inside of my soil and I have noticed because this has been a trick that I've been using for over 10 years now this works 100% but when I say 100% it takes time I believe there's some sort of oil or fumes within the matchstick that actually is toxic to the larva to the babies to the to the uh, fly gnats so the plants that I actually have with the matchsticks in them I never see fly gnats near them in them ever and those are my oldest plants in my collection so this is something that has worked for me 100% so you can try it and see if it works it does take time to actually work because the oils get slowly released into the soil when you water it but the more matches I guess you can put inside of the box inside of the soil then the better because that is just a higher concentration this is not toxic to the plant I also do this because it's wooden the wood eventually just like disintegrates into the soil and I don't have to worry about it I do make sure that they are lit matches after and they don't have the active you know or uh, the active point I just always make sure they are lit so that is what you guys can try so the next tip that I actually do recommend are actually mosquito bits I know some people can also find mosquito dunks but I love mosquito bits I do find that it does work I use it in certain plants not all of my plants and I found that the plants that were covered in mosquito bits I do not have like fly gnat larva or fly gnats don't try to land near it they completely avoid those plants so for some people if you don't like the appearance of mosquito bits because what eventually happens with mosquito bits is that it creates this moldy film on top of the soil and the the fly gnats don't even want to like land on there to even lay their eggs so if you don't like the look of that what you can do is soak these soak this in water and then water your plants with the soaked mosquito bits and I believe that's how mosquito dunks operate I've never used them so always follow directions I follow the directions that come with this follow the directions it's important when you're using chemicals especially chemicals that are like you know not 100% natural so next thing I recommend to help control fly gnats are mosquito bits so the third tip that I can give you all to help eradicate fly gnats in your home are actually predatory insects so these are actually nematodes and this is actually green lacewing larvae so pretty much these are living organisms living insects that you allow to live in your soil and allow to live on top of your soil this will hatch and they will live they will eat anything that's like living on plants like what is that thing called like mealybugs they eat like the live adults while these kind of focus more in the soil and eat the babies or larvas the eggs keeps away any insects that are inside of the soil that could potentially just harm your plants so live 
beneficial predatory insects are the next ones that I would recommend that actually do use in my collection. The fourth tip that I would recommend but it is not my favorite because I personally don't use this because I don't find it works for me but some people say it works for them is actually letting the top of your soil dry out and also bottom watering. I don't recommend bottom watering to anyone. Like in nature it rains. Okay like you don't have a reservoir filling it up but anyways that's I'm not here to debate that right now that's another video that I'm so willing to do but um, some people like to let the top of their soil dry out but when you think about it some plants they have like superficial roots that are on the top you should water your plants from the top to let any roots on top receive water because maybe soaking up is not enough because they're too high up they're not able to soak up the water in the soil because you're trying to keep a certain percentage of your soil dry don't recommend it but that is the fourth one that you can try again I don't recommend it the fifth one that I do recommend but depending on where you live you might not have access to this sort of product and it is definitely going the systemic route I recommend and love this product so um, I will have it tagged below but this product I it's a systemic just pesticide and it gets to the root of your issue if you have mealybugs if you have um, a lot of problems that you don't have time to just keep at bay you just want to eradicate just go ahead and just use this I use this very sparingly for certain insects when I find mealybugs I just go straight to this I don't keep anything at bay but you can if you're over if you have a huge collection and you just can't you just can't manage the fly gnats then definitely I recommend just get doing the one-stop shop get rid of them in one go don't worry about it don't stress yourself because it's not worth stressing yourself <laughs> and like inhaling and sniffing these things because they're annoying fly gnats as adults are not harmful to plants but fly gnat larva fly gnat um, when they lay their eggs in the soil that is what is an issue for your plants because the babies or larvae can't feed on the roots and it is a continuous cycle they do not have a very very long lifespan so within a month you know you can just grow an entire colony without even knowing it okay so again the larva it is what is uh, the issue for plants the adults are annoying for us humans because we're like sniffing them in they're flying around they're landing on your things they're they're just annoying okay so that is why this is an issue and also they carry diseases they can transmit for example if one of your plants had an issue it had a virus then the fly gnat is just like swarming around in it it'll then you know get up and then just go to another plant and potentially transmit those diseases to your plants too so again they're really small they're really annoying but they're annoying okay they're so annoying so annoying here in all my videos I've inhaled many fly gnats I squished them so this one is a bonus tip that I can give you all is actually cleaning your drains yes your drains where you water your plants whether it's your bathtubs your bathroom sink or your kitchen sink or you have a sink in another area where you designated just for plants and soil cleaning those drainage holes are very very important because you might not have fly gnats in your plants but certain rooms might just have an influx of them and that's because they actually lay eggs and they actually live inside of your uh your bathtubs they can live inside of your bathroom sinks because they feed off of the organic matter that is going down the sink also so you can try to clean your drainage and get rid of them you can use baking soda with uh, apple cider vinegar and hot water to just clean and cleanse your drains and remove any just like dirt that's still living there the drainage could just have food that the adults can like you know feed off of and lay their eggs near there and maybe the larva can potentially feed off of the organic matter there too so definitely this is my bonus tip to 100% just get rid of fly gnats you have to clean your drainage also after you try to clean the plants try to just deal with whatever your plants is going on in the soil dealing with that first and then 
going to where you clean your plants where you water your plants and cleaning there too will definitely help you if you try any of these tips please let me know you can follow me on instagram at houseplant h-a-u-z-p-l-a-n-t let me know so thank you so much my saucy pecans for watching this video if you liked it please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and sharing subscribe if you are already join this little cookie family because we're pretty awesome here become a saucy pecan and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time i upload a new video and i'll see you in the next one let's get growing bye